Good morning, everyone. It's Elise. Today is August 29th, Monday. Is it Monday? It's Monday. Monday. Every day seems like Monday to me. Not a great day today. Uh, sad, sad day today. And um, I have a mask on, so I am trying to take care of myself by cleansing my face. See, but I do have to wet it. So like we talked about, I don't want to shower. So I clean parts of my body separately. Um, I have my husband's t-shirt on, which I wear to bed. Ooh, bad. Oh my God. I should video that. I should redo. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. Anyway, so um, last night was hard. My son, um, he was tired. You know how kids get, and they get tired, whatever, cranky. And uh, he called me into his room to have our feelings talk, which we do a lot. And uh, he was talking about his best friends and how he was worried that they were going to move, which they're not moving. And he was worried that my husband used to travel for business. And he's worried that what if he travels somewhere and we decide that, you know, we have to move there. And after he was crying, 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 and after a while, we... Um, I think I got to the root of what's going on and he said, you know, I just wish that um, dad would be okay and my life would be normal again. And these are the questions or the conversations that go on in my house now and they're hard. They're hard for me because I want to give the right answer or a good answer. So I said, you know, Everybody's normal is different. I said, you know, some people, um, they have divorced parents, and that's normal for them. <clears throat> it's not normal for you. Some people have a sick parent. That's normal for you, and it's not normal for someone else. Some people have two mommies or two daddies, and that's normal for them. Some people, unfortunately, live in their car. Normal for them. Not normal for you. So everybody's normal is different. And uh, he just said, you know what, I just wish that dad would be okay, because if he's not, I just don't know what I'm going to do. And there's no answer for that question. I just told him that um, he will be safe, and he will be okay, and I will be there with him, and I will love him. And uh, I think often about um, uh, Elizabeth Edwards and Christopher Reeve's wife. And how stoic they always were when they were talking in interviews and how they were always so, they always had the right answers to say. And I think I mentioned this before because I think about this a lot. And it's because they were preparing for an interview and they didn't have a mask on, right? And they were all made up and they had time to prepare and think about it and be in a good place. And um, today is just a cry day for me. It's sad. Uh, when my children are sad, I'm sad, um, and I do still. I don't have the answers. I don't know how we are going to get on. I know that we will. I know that people have much more unfortunate circumstances than I, or similar, and they get on right. So I know that that will happen. I know that we'll be okay. Uh, I just don't know how we're going to get there. So. It's, uh, this is like a real interview about what people are really going through when they're faced with, uh, something like, you know, cancer or, or if, or even you, you lose your house or whatever. These are real feelings. This is, a uh, real life. And, uh, I could kind of get why people get addicted to, like, prescription drugs because, you know, my husband's like, well, maybe we need to go on vacation, but guess what? My fucking head goes with me, right? So if my head's with me, it's not a vacation, unless I chop my head off, which would be dumb. But if you start medicating, right, you start feeling that old buzzy, zoned out feeling. I get it. I'm not doing it. But I totally could get why people get to that place. So. I, uh. I have the strength. I just, sometimes I don't feel like I could do it. Today is a day I don't feel like I could do it. It's a big, it's 
so much. It's one of my sayings with my friends. It's just too much. It's just too much. And it feels today like it's just too much. And uh, people ask me what they could do. and Nothing. Uh, but I appreciate all of your letters. And uh, I'm hoping to leave the house so I can have a funny story because this just sucks. I mean, watching me cry, it's just dumb. But this is how I feel. This is my video blog, and this is what's going on today. So, that's what I have. Sad.